Uh, Lindsay, good to have you on the program. A lot of people have power questions, which may be uh, helpful even if people don't have SMUD, but specifically for you, um, let's get to the first text. Will my power get shut off if I can't pay my power bill right now? Absolutely not. Actually, we were one of the first utilities to make a commitment to our customers that we are not turning off power for non-payment, and that is all the way through uh, May 30th, so people will not lose power. Okay, next one coming in. Uh, kind of the same thing. I'm out of work. Will I qualify for SMUD's low income rates? How do I know if I qualify? Right. So we've actually recently made changes for this very reason. If people want to go check it out, they can go to smud.org slash coronavirus. And we have an online application form that they can fill out and get quick results. Okay. I know from home, being a SMUD customer, I can track my usage when I go online. This next text is, uh, I guess for everybody, how has the electric demand been? Has it been higher, lower, about the same since the shelter in place? And can your grid keep up? Um, absolutely. Our grid, we, we have built a reliable and safe grid, so our grid can certainly handle this. Um, we've had a reduction in some of our commercial um, power draws and then a small increase in our residential. So it balances out to be the same, but our grid can certainly handle it. And we've got our crews out, you know, 24 seven, making sure that everyone has power. You know, it's interesting when we're, we have a lot of people working from home now and we're trying to Skype in and zoom in. And a lot of times during peak time, we're getting kicked off and interfered with signal wise. And, you know, uh, there's just a lot of people at home uh, firing up their own power, whether it be, you know, their own computers or whatnot. Uh, yeah, the, the thing I can say to that is actually right now, our rates are actually at their lowest. Um, we still do have the Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. time frame, which is a peak, mm -hmm. but our rates are still at their lowest. So if people are home and they can be flexible with their energy intensive chores and maybe shift them to the morning hours instead of the afternoon, they can save even more. Uh, the next text piggybacks on that. Your summer rates are scheduled to start in June. Those of us who are smart customers know that. Um, are you going to hold to June? Is this the plan or delay the start of it? Well, uh, right now, I mean, there is there is a difference in summer and winter rates. Our summer rates start June 1st. That is our standard rate. So mm -hmm. that's what we're looking at right now. However, we are working with our customers in a, multi in, in, in a multitude of different ways to provide flexible payment options, to not shut off their power, provide energy saving tips to help everybody get through. Okay, that's a good uh, piggyback into this. You mentioned uh, saving energy. Next text coming in. How do we save uh, electricity while we're at home? Now it's warming up. Everybody's at home. What are, give me a couple of quick tips. Uh, I think the biggest savings tip is to simply shift some of your chores outside of that 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. time frame. Remember, that's only Monday through Friday. It's only a few hours. Um, some of the other things are just changing your HVAC two degrees. Um, that can save you about 10% on your on your cooling cost. So that's a big one. Um, things that take up a lot of energy are things like your dishwasher, your washer and dryer, and your HVAC. Those are your biggest. So keep those outside the peak time uh, or do yes. it on the weekends, right? Right. Yeah. Okay, Lindsay, thank you.